normal probability calculations. So we're going to use the 68, 99.7 rule that tells us approximately 68% of the values in a normal distribution are within one standard deviation of the mean. Approximately 95% of the values in a normal distribution are within two standard deviations of the mean. And approximately 99.7% of the values are within three standard deviations of the mean in a normal distribution. We are also given that the standard score or z-score for Q1 is negative 0.675. And finally, the standard score or z-score for Q3, the third quartile or 75th percentile, is 0.675. And that's all the information you need to calculate the normal probabilities you're given in this chapter. You do not need to use the storm standard normal table. So let's now take a look at an example and see how this works. Heights of adult females are normally distributed with a mean of 65 inches and standard deviation of two and a half inches. What percentage of adult females are between 60 and 70 inches tall? So the first thing we do is calculate the z-score or standard score for the two values 60 inches and 70 inches. So 60 minus the mean of 65 over the standard deviation of 2.5 comes out to be negative 2. The z-score corresponding to 70 would be 70 minus the mean of 65 divided by 2.5, which is 5 and over two and a half or a positive two. So now to, what does that mean for the normal distribution? Basically, we wanna find the percentage of scores that are between a standard normal z-score of negative two and positive two or within two standard deviations of the mean and we know the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. So that should be 95%. So approximately 95% of adult females have height between 60 and 70 inches tall. We're gonna stick with the same basic setup here. We still have heights of adult females normally distributed with mean of 65 and standard deviation of two and a half inches. And this time we're told that Sally's height puts her in the 25th percentile for adult women. How tall is she? So again, I'm thinking about the normal distribution and to recall the z-score that corresponds to Q1, the first quartile, or the 25th percentile is negative 0.675. So we know that z-score and we know the formula for the z-score is x minus mu over sigma so we've got negative 0 0.675 equals x, the score we're trying to figure out, minus the mean of 65 over the standard deviation of two and a half. So this is the one place where you're gonna have to do a little bit of algebra here. We're gonna multiply both sides of this equation by 2.5. So we've got negative 0 0.675 times 2.5 equals x minus 65. We're adding 65 to both sides of the equation. We get x equals 65 minus 0 0.675 times 2.5. And if you do that calculation out, we get x is approximately 63.1 inches. So the 25th percentile for heights of adult females is about 63.1 inches. And we'll say Sally's approximately 63 inches tall. Again, sticking with the same general example, heights of adult females are normally distributed with mean of 65 and standard deviation of two and a half inches. And this time we wanna calculate the probability that a female's, adult female's height is between 60 and 67 and a half inches. I could denote the probability that way. 
And as before, we're going to want to calculate the z-score for each of these endpoints for 60 minus 65 over 2 and a half. And we already did that one. It's negative 2. And the z-score corresponding to 67.5 will be 67.5 minus 65 inches over 2 and a half, right? x minus mu over sigma. And that turns out to be a positive 1. Now, looking at the normal distribution, in this problem, we're essentially trying to calculate the percentage of scores that are between a z-score of negative 2 and positive 1. So how can we do that? Well, we know that 68% of the scores lie within one standard deviation of the mean, and the normal distribution is completely symmetric. So if 68% are within one standard deviation of the mean, in this region here, we'll have just half of that, or 34%. Now similarly, we know that 95% of the scores are within two standard deviations of the mean. So if I want to figure out the percentage of scores in this region, well, 95% are within two standard deviations of the mean, so exactly half of that would be in this region I've shaded in pink. So half of 95% is 47.5%. So the total percentage we're looking for is that 34% plus 47.5%, or about 81.5% of adult females have height between 60 and 75 inches. Okay, so one more example with the same setup, adult females height are normally distributed with a mean of 65 inches, standard deviation of two and a half inches, and this time we're asked what is the percentage of adult females that are over 70 inches tall. Again, I'm going to calculate the z-score corresponding to 70 inches, so that's x minus mu over sigma, or 70 minus 65 over two and a half. That corresponds to a z-score of 2, or two standard deviations above the mean. Now taking a look at a, the normal distribution again, we're really interested in looking at the probability that the z-score is greater than 2, that corresponds to a height of greater than 70 inches, so we're interested in finding the area in this little shaded pink region. How can we do that? Well, we know 68, 95, 99.7 rule, right? So we know 95% of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean. That's going to tell us that 5% is in the outside tails between this region and this region. It's a total of 5%. The distribution is completely symmetric, so half of it, or 2.5%, is going to be in this tail, and 2.5% here. So approximately 2.5% of adult females will be over 70 inches tall. So I hope that helps, and you have a wonderful day. Take care.